This is a program called Ride with GPS. It allows me to plot out courses that I can um, upload to my Garmin Edge 705. It's a little GPS unit I have for my bike. The beauty of this whole thing is you can you can map out rides you want to do in advance, and it'll tell you what the distance will be overall, as well as how many feet of climbing. Um, in the Midwest, the feet of climbing isn't so critical here as it would be in other parts of the country, but still it's nice information to have ahead of time. Um, to use the unit or the uh, program, you start at home, which is home for me right here, and uh, plot your way out of the neighborhood. I've got it following um, roads. You can either have it draw lines point to point or follow roads. In this case, following roads would be the application I'd want to use. I'll do a ride that I did a couple of Mondays ago uh, to Hampton, uh, Minnesota, about 20 miles southeast of where I live. And um, let me zoom out here make a little quicker work of this. As I'm doing this, it's accumulating the, the totals up here in the upper right, 7.2 miles and 335 feet of climbing to this point here. Um, as well as there's a a graph along the bottom, if you can see that as it develops, it's um, showing the elevation changes um, as I ride along the route here. I can that little blue ball is, is associated with where I'm at. Um, this blue ball here up on the road is what the train is like down here on the graph below. So let me work this out towards Hampton, and then bring it back home, and I can show you how it um, compares with the ride that I did a couple of weeks ago. If you don't click on the on the right side of the road, it'll think you crossed over. It'll put you on a ramp to get there, or whatever it might be, but it's incredibly accurate, um, or finicky, whatever the word might be. In this case, let's see, I get off at Coates up here. I'd be careful not to click on the clover leaf. It'll think I crossed over and went the way I didn't go. So this is all good. Um, when I get this done, then, I'll be able to take uh, this file in the form of a GPX file and upload it um, into my Garmin Edge 705 and I can navigate to it and follow it when I'm out there on the road. Um, I wouldn't do it for this ride because I know the way here so it's not an issue but for a ride I did yesterday it was uh, 165 miles and that was um, one that yeah it was kinda nice to have navigated for me. So here we are at, uh, let me save this and call this the Hampton Loop. It's a cycling event. Save the route. We can look at it here and compare it with the actual ride I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, here's the actual ride that I did. It was 41.07 um, miles and 1,049 feet of climbing. In this one that we have here, it says it's 41.1 uh, miles and 1,014 feet of climbing. So it's it's real close. Now I can take the uh, GPX file that generates, and this is what I would use to upload to the uh, the Garmin um, Edge 705. So you can grab that on my desktop, and I've got a GPX folder here inside my Garmin. My Garmin's plugged in here. That's what I'm looking at here and I can take and drag this into that uh, folder. So there it's ready to use whenever I want to use it. Um, the West Loop is a loop I did yesterday. Um, it was a 165 miles. Um, I could probably navigate this on my own from memory, but it's much nicer doing it this way. The Garmin tells me when to turn, um, how far up the next turn is, how many miles and you know minutes or whatever based on my average speed. Like yesterday, Highway 12 was closed up into this area here. I wanted to take that's what I had plotted out, but this is the way I went. It was nice to have the maps on board to kind of give me an idea where I was headed. But anyway, things have come a long way in the 30 years since I've been uh, out on the road on my bike from the little wheel-mounted odometer I used to have. And this is what I'm working with today. It's pretty cool G-Wiz equipment.